Hello there, everyone, and welcome to The Theorist, here with your host, JC Botero 67 and we come back to reviewing Revelations. It's back up and running, and I do apologize for not having reviewed Chapter 28. I was going to, and but anyway, that's beside the point. So I'm just going to brief a little bit on Chapter 28 here for the Chapter 29 review, and basically it was a fight in the church, between Ciel and Sebastian, but then it just turned into a lovemaking scene. And it was interesting. In Anime Kujo's author's note, she asked, So what did you all think? Did it live up to your expectations, or should I have just scrapped the entire sweaty, sexy love scene and just had them fight to the death? When I read the love scene, I was kind of blown away. I was like, oh, like, I didn't expect this to happen. Uh, but, you know, I cannot deny the fact that I did enjoy it. And it was interesting because they did mate. You know, for me, it was almost like they got married at the altar, but they just mated. You know, it's not the same thing, but it was still very special. And that's what I liked about it. And then, to conclude this little brief of chapter 28, Anime Kujo had asked what we would like to see in upcoming chapters. So... I'm just sitting there thinking, okay, well, even if I try to ask for Celium, it's not going to happen, which is rather unfortunate. But, of course, this is a Sebastian Ciel fanfic, so it will stick to that plot. It will stay that way. But I also had an other thought about Ciel possibly getting pregnant. I know that Anime Kujo had received a few comments or at least in review, written reviews that were left for her, people were saying, oh, maybe Ciel is going to have a baby. And she had said no. Of course, now that we see that Ciel is part angel, and seeing that, you know, technically angels and demons don't have a gender, Ciel could get pregnant, you know? I'm trying to remember when she had gotten those reviews, because I cannot recall if it was before we found out that Ciel was an angel or not, even though we all kind of figured. But if that was the case, if it was before we found out he was an angel, then, you know, now that we know he's part heavenly being, you know, he could end up pregnant. We don't know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people will want to suggest that, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. And we'll go ahead and move on to chapter 29, after Sebastian and Ciel make love, they're just lying there talking, and Ciel gets to hear more about Sebastian's real past. Eventually, the topic goes to the black nails that Sebastian has, and that's when Ciel realizes Claude is also a demon, because the nails, as Sebastian said, they basically show that demons lack souls, and that's why the color of their nails are black. And so at realizing that Claude is a demon, Ciel feels the need to go save his best friend. But Sebastian is trying to tell him, trying to convince him to not do it, to not go after Claude because Claude is older, he's stronger than himself, than Hannah, and, you know, Sebastian doesn't want Ciel risking it. So the only thing Ciel can think of to impede Sebastian from stopping him is by stabbing Sebastian in the arm with his holy blade. So while Sebastian stays behind in the church dealing with the pain, Ciel takes off. And then the chapter skips to Aloise and Claude. They just had some sexy time. And a short while after that, Aloise notices that Claude is tense. And so he offers to give Claude a massage. Aloise proceeds to pull out a bottle from his nightstand drawer, and he rubs the substance onto his hands. And the content of the bottle turned out to be holy water, which it didn't hit me at first. And before I move on, I do want to point out that before this whole massage scenario happened, I thought, okay, what if Claude made Aloise his mate and pitted him against Ciel, you know, his own best friend? Because as we've seen in the anime, Aloise was going after Ciel, and he's like, oh, he's mine, I want to make him mine. Uh, that just kind of popped into my head, and I'm like, you know, in the story, they're best friends, obviously, but it could kind of go in the direction of the anime where they just kind of go against each other. Which is really weird, because I don't think, you know, whether he is human, angel, demon, whatever, I don't think he would turn against Ciel, but... 
it was a thought that just passed through my mind and I was like, that'd be really interesting to see. But that is not what happens. Claude had this debate as to whether to keep him alive because he did enjoy the sexy times they had and kind of feasting a little bit on his soul. But then he also debated killing him because he now knows the truth that Claude is a demon. Obviously, Claude is going to be going after Ciel, so there's kind of that conflict and it's best to rid of Aloise. And so that's what Claude chooses to do. So Claude basically pulls Aloise into a kiss. Of course, it's not a regular kiss. He's sucking his soul out. And that is when Ciel arrives, leaving us with a cliffhanger as to whether Aloise is still alive or not. I want to say that Aloise is probably still alive, but who knows? And I want to hear what you guys think. So go ahead and leave a comment on this video or on my Facebook page or tweet me about it and, you know, share your thoughts. And that concludes the chapter 29 review with a little bit of chapter 28. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will catch you in the chapter 30 review. I should do something to celebrate, so I'll think about what I'm, what I'll do. So thanks for listening again, and I'll catch you guys later.